Well, Tokyo Comic Con has now come and gone. It was here from the 8th to the 10th of December at Makuhari Messe. I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can sound off in the comments and let me know how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Or maybe I've done it correctly. Let me know. But it was definitely a weekend to remember. And of course, I vlogged all about it. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's in the link in my description or it's at the top of the screen at the moment, somewhere in the corner. Please go and check that out before you see this video because what I'm going to be doing for this video is basically a haul video. It's not really something that I do like unboxings or haulings or stuff like that but the one thing that's great about Comic-Con is that there are so many things to see and do and the amount of freebies that get thrown your way is amazing. Not to say that you should be looking out for freebies but it's an added bonus. So what I'm going to do in this video is basically show you what I got from the convention as well as the free stuff that came along with it. So first, let's do the things that I actually bought. Now in the vlog from Tokyo Comic Con, I talked about a Warner Brothers 100 booth. It was a massive booth and exhibition which basically had everything from Warner Brothers. It had Harry Potter, DC, um, Lord of the Rings, Gremlins, all different kinds of Warner Brothers franchises. So of course I would look at the Harry Potter section and come across a whole bunch of platform nine and three quarters things. Because you know, I'm a fairly big fan of the train and the conductor who doesn't get enough credit if I'm honest with you. So first off, I got this very nice platform nine and three quarters towel. As you can see, it says platform nine and three quarters and Hogwarts Express at the bottom of it. If I am not mistaken, you can also find this at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, the one in Tokyo. Um, I've seen a few people have this there. So I think you can find this there as well if you missed it at Tokyo Comic Con. Then I also got this very nice platform nine and three quarters mug. So it essentially looks like this. It has the little trolley with the suitcases on it as well as the Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters. So I could have my morning coffee like this and pretend that I'm on the Hogwarts Express or about to go on the Hogwarts Express. And last but not least, this very nice platform nine and three quarters tote bag. I bring my backpack to work all the time and I don't really need to bring my backpack because I bring very little things. So it'd be nice to have this tote bag to bring to work and it fits just nice. So apart from the Warner Brothers 100 merchandise area, there was also the Marvel merchandise area, but also a bunch of independent smaller booths selling off uh, merchandise as well. Some of them were toy shops, some of them were independent people. So I managed to get a few things from some of these shops. One of them is this official desk lamp and wall light. It's the Back to the Future DeLorean time circuits and it lights up. And if you want to see it light up, it's probably on the screen right now. It uses USB as well as batteries, three AA batteries if I'm not mistaken. And of course, I had to get an out of time keychain, the number plate from the DeLorean. I had to get it, so this is going to go straight onto my bag. And also, I got some Ghostbuster pins, an Ecto-1 certified driver and a Ecto goggle certified pin. This looks amazing. I can't wait to pin this on my jacket. And the last thing I bought was this Tokyo Comic Con mystery bag. Now this cost me 5,000 yen and it's basically a mystery bag of different things inside of it. I don't know what's in it. I didn't look into it because I wanted to leave this as a surprise for the video. But before we get into this, because I like to keep it even more mysterious that way, we're going to take a look at what we got for free first before we get into this bag. So in terms of freebies, when you get that three day Tokyo Comic Con pass, it actually entitled you to a free t-shirt and it's totally random. You didn't know what shirt were you going to get, but I was given this King Shark shirt. And I was so happy to get this because King Shark is one of my favorite members of the Suicide Squad and it looks very, very retro, I would say. Neon retro kind of colors. So this is an awesome shirt. And at the Heritage Auction booth, they gave us a free tote bag because I need more tote bags. It, it's relatively nice size and it's easy to carry stuff in. That's very nice of Heritage Auctions. Thank you, Heritage Auctions. Oh, and almost forgetting, I went to the Tokyo Comic Con merchandise booth and I got a Tokyo Comic Con pin as well, just for memorabilia's sake. It looks pretty cool. I like it. Tokyo Comic Con. Hey. Now, during the convention, there were multiple people that were going about giving away pins and whatnot. They were just coming with a big box and like, here, please take some pins. So I managed to get three different pins. There's this black Tokyo Comic Con pin, the hero Tokyo Comic Con pin, as well as the uh, official Tokyo Comic Con pin. All these badges are pretty nice looking. And you can have a look yourself, these three right there. If you can see, there we go. 
And now there's, there's, there's this full bag of freebies that I got as well. Now, when we went to Veronica Taylor's booth, the American voice actor for Ash Ketchum in Pokemon, she was very gracious and gave us this little promo card for her podcast with her daughter, The Trainer's Guide. They basically rewatched uh, the first season of Pokemon and they talk about it and do commentary about it. And also take a look at her business card. Isn't this the cutest thing? It's like the form of a Pokemon card. This is adorable. And speaking of heritage auctions just now, the ones that gave us the tote bag, they also gave us this very nice looking notebook. Very nice notebook indeed, as well as a uh, lens cleaner and a pen. This is honestly very useful. This is why Comic-Con is quite amazing when it comes to freebies, because you never know what you're gonna get. Now at the Disney Plus area, they of course were giving away flyers for their Hulu and Disney Plus packages, but they also gave this very nice folder of their new series. If I'm not mistaken, it's Dino Island, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put a link to the trailer at the top here or in the description below. I might have gotten the name wrong, but check out the description in the link below. I'll put it up here as well, as I said. But this is a very nice folder. can keep some uh, papers in and stuff and a description of the series as well. There was also this booth called Bitmap. I wasn't sure what it was and then I discovered more about it. It's actually a new comic that's coming out and they were gracious enough to give away the first issue of it. It's a new sci-fi series set in a vibrant solar punk metropolis. And I know this because I'm reading it right here at the back. But this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna open this up and see what it's about. I'll put this in the description, a link to this in the description as well, if you're in case you're interested. But do check it out. So this is the first issue. Thank you so much, Bitmap, for giving this to us. Now, when you first go into Comic-Con at the entrance area, they give you a, basically a bag of programs and stuff. So what we got was the official program book of Tokyo Comic-Con which basically has all the information that you need about the booze, about the food, uh, the timetable for the day and stuff like that. This came in very handy. There was also a flyer for the Comic-Con shop and the Comic-Con Cafe Museum, which is in Tokyo. I'll put a link in the description below. A Marvel Studios handbook, which is actually this massive, massive poster thing, basically showcasing, I don't know if you can see, but who's connected to who, who's, who's father and, and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. I wish I could read Japanese, but even if you can't, you can see who's connected to who, like there's, there's the Black Widow and, and stuff like that. I'm not describing this well, but you get what I mean. And also they gave us a Hot Toys winter catalog, which basically showcases what things are coming out from Hot Toys this winter. Some stuff, as you see, have already sold out. You've got Star Wars. Spider-Man, all the figures that's coming out for winter and what you can pre-order and get hands on yourself. So yeah, this is the Hot Toys winter catalog. So that's what we got in the official Comic-Con bag. But when I went over to the Audible booth, they gave away this flyer. Along with this flyer, a pack can of Pringles. How awesome is that to have a flyer with a can of Pringles? And I can have this Pringles pretty soon. Thank you, Audible. Now, on to the main event this mystery bag. So let's unbag this bag together. Does that make sense? Unbag this bag? So, ooh, 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 first off, there's this uh, Ant-Man folder. It's just like the other Disney Plus folder, but this is Ant-Man. You can see Ant-Man there, and then it has his uh, description and powers and all that here. Ooh, an official Tokyo Comic Con hat. I'm wearing this for the rest of the video. I don't, I don't know. Okay, this is pretty tight, but I'm wearing this for the rest of the video. Tokyo Comic Con. Next up, we have a, oh, this is heavy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is a Harley Quinn chain. And this is pretty hefty as well. It's got a Bruce dog tag on it and a bunch of charms around it. This is the same chain that uh, Margot Robbie wears in Birds of Prey. This is a replica of it. Oh, this is nice. We also have a Comic-Con tote bag. Oh, another tote bag. I've got a lot of tote bags this trip, but we've got a Comic-Con tote bag. Oh, yeah. Now we've got something from Cost Baby. It's a t-shirt. Oh, it's an Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, check this out. Adventures Infinity One is an Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, it's an Infinity Gauntlet and those look like jelly beans for some strange reason, but this is awesome. And we've got a hot, oh my goodness, it's a Hot Toys Spider-Verse t-shirt. Damn, look at that. Look at that Spider-Verse in the front and we've got Spider-Verse at the back too. That is adorable. I love this. Oh, yes. And we've got another shirt. The shirts just keep coming. Ooh, this is an Avengers Endgame shirt. This is kawaii. Look at them. 
Look at all the characters. Look, there's Thor, there's Iron Man, Black Widow, Rocket. Oh, this is really cute. You can see it right there. We go. It's not too shiny. And yet another shirt. Oh, <gasps> it's Spider Ham. It's another Hot Toys shirt, and it's Spider Ham. <laughs> it's Spider Ham, and it says Flip. You know what? For five thousand yen, this is a pretty good mystery bag. And also, we have a pin. Not a pin. We have a keychain. It's from Marvel. I can't quite make it out. I'm not sure what it is, but am I holding it this way or this way or this way? But if you know what it is, could you let me know in the comments below? It could be the Marvel logo. I'm, I'm not sure. Let me know. And we've got this massive bag that comes along with it. That is an amazing mystery bag. So yeah, that completes the haul from Comic Con this year. It honestly was an amazing haul, if I say so myself. Like that mystery bag, wow, for 5,000 yen to get all that is incredible. So if you ever get the opportunity to go to Tokyo Comic Con, I would highly recommend it, and also to Osaka Comic Con as well. And if you made it this far in the video, Osaka Comic Con is happening next year in May, if I'm not mistaken, from the 3rd to the 5th of May. So if you're here, make sure you go and catch that because you cannot miss Comic Con. If you are a geek like myself, it is a must do when you're here in Japan. So to close it off, thank you so much for watching this. Make sure you check out the vlog of the Tokyo Comic Con. Then all of this will make a bit more sense and you get an idea of what Comic Con was all about and how it was. I will link that in the description below as well as on top here. I'm never sure where it is, it's either here or here. I don't know, but it'll pop out like that. So go and check that out. And also don't forget to check out the Osaka Comic Con video as well. So you have an idea of what Osaka Comic Con is. I can't believe I've done two cons this year, Osaka and Tokyo. Oh, I feel so blessed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.